one. Uh, it's going to be talking about uh, uh, five chapters in a way. Uh, this is managing your mind. So it's called unit two, but I'm calling it unit one because unit one is actually a, a review of fractions. So I'm, I'm, I'm starting with the with a unit one so it doesn't confuse you. Uh, here in the book it says unit two, but actually it's uh, I'm using unit one in, in our PC. Uh, so managing your money. So what's involved in managing your money? You have five chapters here. And we'll talk about them. Probably we'll skip one of the chapters, uh, which is uh, chapter uh, two, and then uh, I'll explain to you why. So this is your your managing your money unit. It has, like I said, four chapters. It has five, but you know we, we're cutting one out. So the first chapter is going to be talking about the gross income. The gross income has uh, seven sections in it. Now, gross income, it's a, you know, I mean, this uh, this chapter, this uh, uh, book, it's more interesting for you guys because it's simple and it goes directly to the point. So here they talk about how you could calculate a straight time pay. You know, when you're working for someone and you get paid by a per hour or something like that. So this is how it shows you. It's not, it's not hard. This is an easy subject. Sometimes we could finish two sections in one day. Uh, sometimes some of the sections will take us two days. So it, it depends. So it's not that hard. Sometimes you could do things faster than than you think. It depends on you know uh, the class and uh, you know the understanding of the students, and you know it makes it easier if if everybody is on the same track. So now here we can talk about the calculating the overtime. For example, I'm sure everybody heard about overtime, uh, and here you're talking about, uh, for example, the pay. Uh, here's something called piecework. So when you pay someone somebody by by making him do, let's say, for example, they have uh, somebody's working uh, uh, with a carpenter uh, making desks and or chairs, uh, he, they might be paid per chair. Every chair they make, they'll get, they'll get some certain amount of money. So they, they let's say, every chair that they make, they get five dollars for it, and uh, they did ten chairs uh, that week. So ten times five, that's fifty, for example, or per day. You know, it depends. Definitely, it's uh, ten. Uh, Five dollars uh, per per chair for for a week. Uh, Ten, I don't think it's worth it. So that's why you know it depends on the business. Uh, so you probably be making more than that per day. Okay. So here we talk about salaries. Salaries when you get the monthly payment. Okay, that's what we call salaries. Like in Jordan, usually we go by a salary. Ninety nine percent of the uh, you know the pays in Jordan, for you, for example, are you know with monthly. You get paid on a monthly basis. Something here called the commission. Commission, there's two types of commissions. Uh, you probably heard the word commission, maybe graduated commission, maybe you never heard of it. But um, we, this is, uh, we'll explain later on. But commission, when you, let's say, for example, if you if you sell a, a house back in the States, even here in Jordan, if you sell a house, you get a commission for selling the house, right? Or uh, any, anything that you, you work for, uh, uh, and you sell, for example, you, you probably get a, a, a commission on it, right? So some, some, some they do pay you a salary plus a commission. So it depends on the business that you're working with. Here, okay. Now, if we go to to this next one here, so let's go back to the next section or chapter. Let's say I'm going to go backward here, just to give you an idea. The next one will be, for example. Chapter two. Chapter two is we're trying to avoid because it has a lot of federal income tax and uh, uh, social securities and Medicare. This is American, more like American specific. Okay, so you're talking about America. This is if you're if you live in the states, it's good to know. If you live, you know, in America, it's good to know. But most of not all of us or most of us were not going to the states. We're going to England or going to Europe to study or here staying here in Jordan and studying. So uh, since I need to be able to cover most of the chapters because no way I could cover all the chapters, so I took chapter two out, okay? So if you talk about, for example, chapter three, this is something general you need to know. For example, average expenditures. If you want to do your bookkeeping, you want to, let's say you want to keep track of your expenses, how much you're, you're making, how much you're, you're spending, and all that. So this chapter is a nice chapter. It only has three sections in it. So we could we could just try to make it, work for our our sake so uh, even if you want to help your parents uh, to keep track of their expenses uh let's say you want to let's say for example you know you have a certain budget for example 
uh, you get a certain budget. Let's say your, your dad gave you a certain amount of money and you want to keep a certain budget. Um, so you say, well, you know what? I could spend that much on this. I could spend that much on this, but I can't spend more than that. So I could stay in my budget. Now, chapter four, it talks more about what? You know, if you open a checking account, for example, here, like chapter four and five, they're almost related. Sometimes I used to skip one of them, but uh, last year I decided to give both because there's certain things in chapter four, it's not in chapter five, but both chapters are good, it's good to know. Uh, most of the students didn't know what a checking account is, okay, May I, you know, uh, but here we'll talk about it, you know, what's a check, what's the difference between a checking account and saving accounts, uh, okay, when it comes to saving accounts, you put money in the bank, you get interest on it, but there's no checks that comes with it, okay, but if you open a checking account, most of the time, there's no interest on it, and you could write checks, let's say if you want to go to a uh, uh, a place to, let's say you want to buy something, for example, right? Let's say you want to buy uh, a refrigerator, for example. You probably could go to a certain place and write them a check for it, and if they accept it. Some 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 businesses they won't accept checks. Some businesses like they say, you know, you know, we prefer we prefer credit card or cash. Okay, so it depends. But uh, usually that's the the old ways, old days before the credit cards got more involved in the business. We were, we were more like, you know, after cash, what comes after cash is checking. So we prefer to write a check because if you want to go and buy something for $1,000, you don't want to carry $1,000 with you. Cash, you know, you have your book, that checking book, you could open it and you could write the amount to that person. You write it to his name and you sign it and you give it to him. So it's more secure than having cash, $1,000 in your hand, because $1,000 in your hand, if you lose them or somebody steals them, they're gone. But the checking book, even, even if somebody steals it, it, it's hard for him to take money out of your bank because he has to match your signature. There's a lot of details. It's not that easy for someone to do that, okay? So this is what will be interesting also. So you might probably can ask, you're going to enjoy those two chapters. So the, the unit one, it has all the, the, those chapters in them. And then after that, we'll be talking about the unit after, so when we get to them. Okay, guys, talk to you later. Bye-bye.